Hello, I'm Alistair Booth and I'm the Head of School for Engineering. And you're very welcome to our virtual Get Engineering event, our showcase event celebrating NI Apprenticeship Week. We're excited to welcome you tonight <coughs> to our action packed program. Historically, Get Engineering is a highlight of our annual event calendar. Each year we organize an annual careers fair with over 40 employers from the local advanced manufacturing sector. Annually, this event attracts around 400 new potential entrants into the industry who are interested in training in full time, part time, apprenticeships, gold apprenticeships, higher level apprenticeships, foundation degree and degree progression. But this year we're doing things slightly differently. This evening is about giving you the opportunity to discover life at Southwest College and the apprenticeships and higher level apprenticeships we can offer you, especially in the engineering sector locally and within your community. Tonight we have a wide range of local employers showcasing the benefits of hiring apprentices. And they will also be talking about their recruitment opportunities that you can avail of. The event is designed to give you a valuable opportunity to experience at first hand the variety of exciting job and career options available to you and the high level skills training that is on offer to help you realize your ambitions right here on your doorstep. Everything we do tonight is online, but we hope you will find the event as informative and enjoyable as it would have been face to face. Whether you know what you'd like to do or you're still unsure or hope, our hope is that by the end of the evening, you will be able to make a more informed decision about your future. Don't forget, if you'd like any more details on each of the courses, please visit our website for full details and you can apply at www.swc.ac.uk or visit our Get Engineering Facebook page. At Southwest College, we can offer you strong employer links to help you get valuable placement and employment opportunities. We also pride ourselves on our strong uh, support services available at the college, such as our career service for those who are unsure which route to take, our learning support team who offer additional support and guidance to help students reach their full potential. And our learning resource centers that offer an extensive range of ebooks, journals and the latest software. And we also have our industrial aligned labs and workshops equipped to help you develop the skills that you need to make you industry ready. Tonight. We will also hear directly from apprentices about their experiences at Southwest College and how their engineering apprenticeship has benefited them. If you have any questions throughout the talk, please feel free to leave your questions in the comments, comments box on the right, and we will respond to these at the end of our presentation. Don't forget, you can apply online. Now we're going to hear from a range of employers about their current recruitment opportunities, apprentices working in industry and the benefit an apprenticeship can offer. Coming up, we have Edge Innovate, Greiner Packaging, Manuk, Nugent's, McCluskey International, the Sandvik Group, Spectrum, TBC Taxi and Bus Conversions and Dumbia. Stay tuned to hear more. Hi, yeah, I'm Leanne Ferguson. I'm the HR officer here mm -hmm. at Spectrum, and I'm here today to talk to you about our apprenticeship program. So Spectrum Limited um, was established over 30 years ago and is a recognizable global leader in the manufacture and supply of conveyor pulleys to the crushing and screening, recycling, aviation, and general materials handling industries. 
Our pulleys are exported to every continent from our headquarters here in the Mid-Ulster Engineering Hub in Northern Ireland. So serving that global market and continually striving to improve the manufacturing processes in the company to meet our customer demands means that we're always seeking to get the best talent to join Spectrum. In doing so, the apprenticeship program helps us to do this. We currently have four apprentices working in Spectrum at the moment, um, but then either a fixed and rotational apprenticeship. So firstly, we have Arne, who is a year one level three gold apprentice. He's completing his two year course with the Southwest College. Over his apprentice duration, um, we plan to provide Arne with first-hand experience in our welding operations. We also plan to give him an insight into the assembly of our conveyors, our machine operations, and an insight into precision engineering. Um, with that then, we have moving on to Ethan and Peter, who are both year one HLA level five manufacturing engineering apprentices. We are both completing a two year course with the Southwest College. Um, over the duration of their apprenticeships, both Peter and Arne will gain first hand experience in our machine workshops, both manual and CNC, welding operations, our cutting and folding operations, and again, an insight into how the maintenance is involved in running the machinery over the four factories we have on site here. And then lastly, we have James. James is a second year and um, his HLA level five foundation degree in engineering. James is specializing in manufacturing engineering through the University of Ulster, but he completes that course at the Southwest College. James has primarily been working in our quality department, um, which is providing him with the insight into technical standards from the beginning of manufacturing sales process to the completion of the end product specification to meet our customer requirements. From the practical working experience that James has gained, uh, he's hoping to complete an honours degree next year in engineering with a vision of teaching it someday. So apprentices at Spectrum are a valuable resource for our growth plan. We view them as future leaders in the engineering industry, so we like to best share our knowledge and expertise in every department of the company. We devise a development plan at the beginning of their apprenticeship program, with the view of them rotating various, um, into various manufacturing processes. This allows each apprentice to reach their end goals. Time is set aside every two months for the apprentice and their mentor to discuss their performance. We find this is a very engaging exercise. The apprentice is able to receive some feedback on how they're performing. They're able to set new goals for their next stage of their development. And again, we get some feedback as an employer, how we're doing and how we're delivering the program for each apprentice. The apprentices also get together with myself as a HR officer to provide them with some support and share some learning and instill some confidence in our apprentices that they can take control of their own development path that best will suit their career ambitions. And also it's great to have a wee chat now and again. For example, Adam, who we currently have working as a quality technician in the company, completed the same apprenticeship course that I've mentioned about James, Ethan and Peter. Um, with the company support, Adam has actually gone back after completing his apprenticeship course to complete a part-time honours degree in engineering with aspirations to progress into a quality control management role. Adam can do that part-time and also working with us um, here in Spectrum. We find offering the apprentices the opportunity to rotate around the various departments is providing them with the experience in the different job roles that they will ensure they will make the right path for themselves in the engineering and manufacturing industry, whether it be in the operational side of the business, the engineering side, the technician side, the quality side, supply chain side, or even in sales and marketing they really make their own career path here. We just support them. Spectrum plan to take five apprenticeships on next year, starting September, 2021. Um, we plan to take two apprentices and the level three gold engineering apprenticeship. We plan to take three apprentices in our level four to five higher level apprenticeship, which is the foundation degree in engineering manufacturing. Um, we would also like and be keen to take an apprentice on to undertake the mega degree apprenticeship with the University of Ulster at the McGee campus um, with the aim of obviously studying the degree apprenticeship in manufacturing and engineering with specialism in industrial digitalization, robotics and automation. 
So we will be opening up our apprenticeship opportunities um, through our vacancies, which we plan to advertise after the Easter break. You'll be able to view these vacancies through our website, which is www.spectrum.com um, forward slash careers. You can also catch us on our social media pages through Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn and Twitter. Um, also, we are happy enough if you want to call in, have a walk around the site, meet with some of the team. We can and truly engage with that. Just give us a wee call. Thank you. TBC was founded in 2006 by Terence Donnelly from Donnelly Motor Group. Um, I joined the company in 2008. And on that day, I was employee number eight. Then we were uh, located in a small village outside Dungannon called The Bush, where we continued until we moved to our present location, purpose-built 28,000 square foot factory on um, our current site here, just out on the outskirts of Dungannon. Uh, the day we moved in, we had 32 people working uh, in TBC. Today the workforce has grown. We now have 82 people um, with also a facility in Birkenhead in Liverpool. Uh, apprentice wise, currently we have uh, a number of seven. We've been working with the college now for 10 years and I suppose in the early years it was toe in the water, a bit disjointed, um, whatever. We have worked very closely with the team in the college and we've got to know a lot of the key players and decision makers in there. And we speak to Barry and Alistair and Nuna and people like that. And we've been, we'd like to think we're influential in helping shape the courses so that when my apprentices go to um, the college, that it dovetails in the work that I do here and the work the college carries out. TBC is unique in that we're really the only converter of, of our type within Northern Ireland and it's difficult uh, to source workforce. Really what we're doing is we are bringing in, uh, if it's mature people, we're bringing in people who, for example, who can weld, um, good fabrication skills, and then we add our um, training onto that. So the ideal solution for us is to bring apprentices and, and train them to our requirements from, uh, from the beginning. I have to say, we have now a number of people coming to the end of their, their third year and it has worked incredibly well for us. And I will be offering those people full-time positions within TBC whenever they finish their course in June time. Apprentices, uh, in our early days, we had uh, a, a young apprentice who had gone and, and ended up with a, a foundation degree through, through the Southwest College. Um, that young guy is now currently working every day with my operations manager and his role will develop into um, an R&D engineer. Uh, at this moment in time, gaining really good experience working um, hand in hand with the, the operations manager so he can see it from all sides. Um, the, the level three people that we have coming through um, I suppose what's available to them all is that they can progress through to whether it be HLA or through into foundation degrees. However, I, I would say that um, I also need uh, ordinary technicians on the floor and we're hoping that some of the people going through that training will fit into that for a period of time but before they would go and progress. Um, so really, um, we don't put a ceiling on anybody uh, we will never stand in somebody's way of wanting to better themselves. Um, I suppose my my job will be to uh, organise and ensure that we are covered at the technician stage and it's not all about uh, promising people, uh, whether it be middle management or senior management roles within TBC. We, we now have our uh, three students coming to the end of their, their three years. Uh, they will finish in college now just before summer time and those people will join the workforce. Uh, difficult times for TBC like everybody else uh, in the pandemic. However, um, we are forward thinking and we believe that we will have opportunities to replace those three people uh, with three new apprentices come uh, September time of, of this year. I believe that 
with vaccination and we're going to end up living with, with COVID and that's, um, we, we just have to accept that. However, TBC has plans to continue with our growth plan, which was in place before the, the pandemic struck just slightly over a year ago. Uh, and in the past, we have attended um, open days uh, at the college, um, even though it normally is on a Saturday morning, but I've always gone along and that gives us a chance to, to speak to people. On the back of that, we've then organised uh, open nights within TBC where we invite interested characters and interested candidates to come along and see firsthand the conditions that we have and what we actually do. Um, for this year, I'll be speaking to the college again and seeing what is the best way to, to do that. Will it be uh, via Zoom or, or, or what the, the plans will be? But obviously, we want to throw the net as wide as we can and um, end up with first class apprentices the way that we have to, uh, been doing to date. My name is Dara Cullen and I'm the Managing Director of Age Innovate here out in Eden Dark outside in Ghana. Uh, we employ almost 200 people and we design and manufacture uh, a range of uh, mobile equipment used in the recycling of materials and that sort of equipment can be found, found right across the world in various places such as quarries, uh, recycling facilities, uh, and ports and terminals. Uh, at present, we have owned over 20 apprenticeships here, and we hope to continue to recruit new apprentices in the future. There are a huge number of opportunities available uh, for potential apprentices in, in the whole engineering sector within Mid Ulster and obviously in Edge Innovate as well. So people, I suppose, uh, think of apprenticeships in, in terms of the uh, the physical shop floor work that goes on and, and that is true, that's, that's where the majority of opportunities are available and those sorts, sorts of positions include uh, assembly operatives, uh, people working in the paint shop in terms of the prep area and the finishing uh, of, of machines as well as, as well as working in welding and fabrication right through to maintenance uh, and quality control. Uh, in recent times, apprenticeships have now uh, started be, to be more associated with other job functions within the business and the recent uh, focus on higher level apprenticeships, which you know the mega network has been looking at, uh, has, has brought a greater interest in potential university students in apprenticeships as well. So to me and to our business, apprenticeships are the way forward and it's it's a fantastic way of people getting on the job work experience and learning in the working working environment at the same time. So anybody that's interested in an apprenticeship position within age or indeed any any job, whether that job is advertised or not, just go onto our website or even our Facebook page and enter your details. All we need to start with is a name and phone number and we will get back to you uh, within the next working day and discuss opportunities that, that lay within our business for anybody that may have interest. Greener Packaging in UK is truly really part of uh, the larger GPA, which is Greener Packaging International. Um, Greener Packaging Package International are one of the leading um, plastic packaging manufacturers in Europe uh, in the food and non-food sector. So majority of our, our products actually would be in nearly everybody's house in their fridge. So um, the yogurts that, uh, that and cream pots that you see, um, noodle pots uh, and also the quality street uh, tubs that you get at Christmas time, we make the packaging for those. So last year we made over 1.2 billion pieces of um, plastic uh, packaging so it's a huge um, huge number and we employ 270 people down in our Dungan plant. Um, Greiner Package International are a family run business they've been run for 150 years and the plant in Dungan started as well, Sanko Plastics back in 1972 and in 2008 we were uh, 
taken over by Agrarian Packaging and really helped us develop the company and we've grown uh, hugely with their help and investment uh, in the last 13 years. So it's a really good company to work for. Um, I suppose uh, my own job, I started the company in 1992. So I, I started done a number of roles. I started off in the tool room. We make the tools for the, the molds. Then I moved to the maintenance department and through progression there, I became a supervisor. And later in the last few years, well, I'm a senior mechanical engineer and I'm now working on project type works, which is improvements. Um, new installs, infrastructure projects within the, the factory, so a bit of everything. So I really have enjoyed my time and uh, it's a good company to work for. Grinder Packaging began a, a they call the Gold Apprenticeship Scheme. It came around nearly the time of the Olympics in 2012. We started a little bit earlier. We called the Gold Scheme. We struggled to employ full-time engineers um, and with the right skill development that we required and our, we thought the route, the best route was good through the apprenticeship scheme. So we started uh, the scheme since 2012, we've employed nearly 28 uh, apprentices. Currently 10 are still going through their four year course. It was a four year course uh, and all the apprentices that we have started or employed were all offered full time roles at the end of their four year apprenticeship scheme. Um, really, what our scheme entails is it's it's four years the first year is a seven year uh or seven seven section seven area uh to be involved in so we've really got um in manufacturing we've got technician type work we've got the tool room we've got mechanical we've got electrical we've design um and a lot of these areas uh are specific in their skills and development. So what we give every apprentice in the first year uh, is a we taster of this and we see what their strengths are and in what area and also what the needs of the company are. So in years two to four, they specialize in an area uh, and they work in this area as long as well as being involved in their daily um, or weekly studies with the tech. So the first I think the first year is a two two days in the technical college and years two to four is a one day in the technical college and four days in the company. We've won a number of recognitions for our apprenticeship scheme. So it's a really good scheme. Uh, that's the first thing. Um, it creates a lot of self-development, we feel, within the individual, um, development within the company. But also, you know, we've always been able to take people on after they've done a four year apprenticeship. So there's a lot of security there for those um, young people. Um, if they show the right attitude and if they complete, they successfully complete all areas of the apprenticeship, there is opportunities for them to undertake roles within the company. And a number of these uh, roles have already, you can see how people have progressed into uh, some into supervision, others into other types of uh, higher level of um, technician schemes. They also travel because we're a member of the of the Europe, the GPI Europe and also US. We've seen a number of our apprentices travel throughout Europe to gain experience from other plants and to go and help other plants um, uh, like in, in USA as well. So it's quite exciting for young people that we're also giving them those opportunities to travel um, as well as develop their own self and, and their own skills. Every year <clears throat> we advertise through the the local channels, but we also attend a lot of trade fairs and, and um, you know open days where we sell the the, the grinder scheme, the grinder gold scheme. We also visit schools, so you'll see us come up to the local schools and colleges and give a day or to speak to leavers, fifth years or or upper sixth. I don't know now what what they're known as, but um, <clears throat> school leavers and we uh, sell what we can offer in Griner and then they go through a, a vetting process um, and as I said we we take on the number that we require for the business every year. We've won a lot of awards for our scheme. It's a really good chance to earn and learn in a modern high-tech company. You know we're state-of-the-art. Um, we're continually invest in money in our 
um, in our site. We've invested over 25 million in the last 10, 12 years um, with new machinery, updates to factory, etc. At present, we're putting in a 3.5 million uh, pound line, which is plastics, is to do with recycling of plastics, which is huge. So there's always lots of investment going on in Greiner. Uh, it's a really good way to develop individuals. We found that our strength is to develop the people and bring out the best in someone. And also, they they can really start to be ahead of their peers, uh, begin earning and learning, but also go on to get their degree. The opportunity is always there to go ahead and get their degree uh, level if they if they require to do that. My name is Philip Butler. I'm the maintenance and reliability manager here in Manock PIR Insulation. Uh, we work for Manock, which is a group of companies consisting, consisting of PIR Insulation, the cement, um, precast, just down the road from us, roof tiles, tarmac. We have quarrying, uh, which would also include the like of a block plant. Um, and we also have an air creek thermal blocks and further down the road we have another insulation plant. Um, my job here is the, as the maintenance and reliability manager is to basically manage the maintenance team. The maintenance team itself consists of um, three shift guys, uh, two electricians and a fitter. I then have a supervisor on dais. Um, under the supervisor, we have a day spark, a day fitter, and I've got the two apprentices. I have an apprentice fitter and an uh, apprentice electrician. Uh, basically, one's a first year, one's a second year. Um, my job would be to look at the plant, see how it runs, identify downtime uh, and any issues, any serious issues. We would carry out through our lean manufacturing or RCAs and their ARs on anything that is going wrong. And those would be then communicated uh, through meetings, through emails to the guys, so that everybody knows if somebody has a, had a problem, how, how it was fixed and what to look out for. And I'd also look after stores and uh, any training requirements for the, the team and for the training. Across, across Manic, we have at this point in time 14 apprentices. Uh, with working with Southwest College. Uh, that would be electrical, mechanical, and heavy vehicle up in the uh, garage. Um, the progression, there's always a need for apprentices. There is always a, a path for them. They can do their time and um, do well and be offered posts. Um, within, within the company when they get uh, qualified. Um, they can move within the, co the company just because you're here in the PIR installation doesn't mean that if a job come up in cement or in one of the plants that you can't go there. And also, there's also further chances that the production manager here in the uh, PIR installation was himself an apprentice uh, fitter in Southwest College, um, he has moved up through the ranks and he is now the production manager in the plant. The company does have dealings with local schools, so uh, information will be sent out to schools as to when apprenticeships are coming available. It's normally in the summer months. Uh, in previous years, we have had open nights on some of the sites, because obviously we didn't have one last year. The year previous, we had an open night here in the KIR station plant. And we're able to show the guys, take them for a tour of here, take them for a tour of the uh, packaging plant next door, show them what is real world. And uh, from that there, they can also look out into local newspapers, uh, fill out the uh, forms and apply. My name's Ryan, I'm part of the HR team here at McCluskey International. Um, so McCluskey International leads the screening and crushing industry um, with four sites in the Dungannon area. So as part of my role then, I look after the recruitment and development of our apprentices. So apprent at the present then, we have about 14 apprentices across our four sites. So the way it works with us then, the majority of our apprentices will start on the shop floor as assembler fitters and they will learn 
the product and how we work as a business. Um, basically from there it's up to the apprentice and what path they take. So we'll provide all the support and tools and equipment that they need to develop and learn. Um, but then from there it's up to them. Um, so initially when we first speak to the vast majority of our apprentices or potential apprentices, they see their end goal as being a design engineer, um, which seems to be the goal for most of them. But however, when they come into our actual workplace, that actually changes um, and they could end up in a number of different departments. So it could be the likes of our manufacturing team where Colleen and Aldis are currently working in, or they could move into the likes of sales, quality or purchasing. So it really just depends on um, the actual apprentice themselves and what route they, they plan on taking then. So as I said, they all start out on the shop floor. Um, and it goes from there. So they'll spend that time on the floor, learn the product and learn how we, op we operate then as a business. Um, I suppose where I get most of my satisfaction is when an actual hiring manager um, goes out to look for somebody to join their team, for example, in the likes of the manufacturing team or the quality team. And you now see them coming to us asking, OK, what apprentices do we have and who can we bring on here? So that shows the success of our previous apprentices and how well that's worked for us. So we'll, we'll provide all the tools and support that's needed. Um, McCluskey's are excellent at providing the training um, required as long as I suppose it's the return for the company as well. Um, so it really depends on what way they want to go. Um, Aldous, we'll talk to you later, I suppose the perfect example started out in our shop floor, got to know the product um, and then has developed into our manufacturing team. And throughout that, they'll be guided by the team, by HR, and we partnered up with people in the department um, and they'll go from there. So they're supported throughout their journey um, and we're happy enough to support right through. We have people come in, maybe the, the likes of the NVQ, uh, move on to do their higher level apprenticeship and then even move on to the likes of their degree then to finish out. Um, so we've had people come right through the process and it's worked so well for us over the years. The way we've always worked it, and we'll work on it again this year, um, we normally run uh, an event after um, the Get Engineering event. So obviously this year it's slightly different. and um, We'll be holding an online virtual apprentice open evening. So we'll run that probably be early May, just after um, we have Apprentice Week. So keep an eye out on our social, social media pages over the coming weeks, and you'll be able to register online for that. Um, normally each year we take on around four or five apprentices. We plan to do so this year as well but also on top of our normal engineering apprentices we're looking at potentially bringing on um, electrical apprentices and um, maintenance apprentices what we've never done before so that will be something new um, for us and it'll allow us to expand out um, and using the apprenticeship route as well so keep an eye out on our social media pages over the next few weeks and we'll be hosting um, an event shortly then. My name is Lee Falls. I am the Operations Director here at Nugent Engineer. Um, I'm not sure if many of you know who Nugent Engineer are, but we are based um, outside in Gannon, up in Gilgwe. And what we do is we produce a range of trailers, a range of agricultural machinery, and we also have a coachworks division as well, which is involved with things like uh, tilting slide lorries and 32 ton trucks sorted. The company has been going now since about 1985 and we've got about 150 employees on our books at the moment. So with the, the company in the past while has just gone from strength to strength and every year we're looking at progressing and making the company bigger and adding to our pools of talent so we are. In terms of apprentices, we currently have 11 apprentices on our books at the minute. But with that said, we actually also will have maybe coming over another 10 or so people who have went through that apprenticeship route and are now fully fledged employees. So they're, and they're in a range of different uh, job roles across the company. Our apprenticeships were open to a complete range of different apprenticeships. So we are we're open to guys from right down on the shop floor, getting the hands dirty and learning how to do things like the welding courses, uh, the engineering courses, whether they be hands on on our lanes or even working with our cut shop on our machines. Above that, you can start to get into the likes of the HLA courses where we're very keen to start to develop our future production managers, our future production engineers, 
who will be working with the products to try and improve the products, to try and manage the efficiencies of the lanes and try and push that on. And then we also have opportunities which is new and maybe different from some other companies is we're starting to get heavily involved in robotics. And that's something that I'm keen to add a few more apprenticeships into that area. So really start looking at how we can take more of our manual handling work and maybe look at that from a different point of view and try to utilize robots and robotics to try and make that easier. And again, try and promote efficiencies. Other aspects of our apprenticeship rules would be we have other opportunities in material handling where the guys will come in and work in our storage departments or logistics trying to help and make sure the product flow is going good. And there's even other, some of our other candidates who traditionally come on have maybe went down the more traditional design route and they started out as junior designers, they then worked their way into senior designers and one of our star pupils is now actually more of on. And he's now one of our product managers and looks after our agri and is now consulting with our sales team and consulting with our customers to try and make that product better. There's loads of opportunity in Nugent for apprentices and also for apprentices to progress within the company. So if you wish to apply for an apprenticeship here at Nugent, the best way is to get in touch with us or email us and the links will be on our website and we've got our all our details on there if you wish to apply. My name is Daniel Rowntree. I'm responsible for the engineering training development of the site at Dungannon. That will incorporate apprenticeships. Dunbury is a European leading and respected supplier of top quality beef, pork and lamb to the national and international retail, commercial and food sector markets. As a progressive group, Dumbia is one of the most significant employers within the red meat industry in the UK. Dumbia has a proud history of supporting local talent and for many years now we've been involved with the engineering apprenticeship program in Dungannon and through that time we have built up a strong relationship with Southwest College. Dunway itself promotes future leadership within the company where possible. So as an apprentice, your journey begins from day one. We have nine apprentices on site at present, four which are higher level apprenticeships, and they'll be hopefully finishing in the next couple of months with a foundation degree in engineering studies. We have four second year apprentices who are at Southwest College. Uh, on the Gold and the Academy programmes and we have a further apprentice who is studying refrigeration maintenance at Lisburn College. The role of Indulby for an engineering apprentice, as an apprentice you'll be working with our maintenance team from day one. You'll be assigned to a, to a shift and from that day you'll be part of the, the maintenance team. You will become a multi-skilled engineer which will cover mechanical and electrical bias. As an apprentice, you will be trained to complete the following. One, our plant maintenance program, you'll be able to use it to extract information and enter data. You will be completing visual inspections, audits on the plant and equipment. You will also be completing scheduled servicing of plant and equipment. You'll be involved in engineering projects. The engineering projects will involve modification of existing plant and equipment. It'll be installation and decommission of either new or old equipment. It'll be involved with working with contract engineers on site. And you'll also be involved working with the MPD team and the production team to develop new production lines and products that come on stream. Um, you'll, after your apprenticeship, post apprenticeship, the opportunities will be for to take on greater responsibilities with an either a lead engineer or else may be involved in the supervisory management role within the team. As an apprentice, you will start your journey and hopefully you will end up with one of our leaders. At present, Dunway and Dungannon are looking for four maintenance apprentice engineers. Um, to qualify, you need to be registered with the Southwest College on either the Gold Program or the Academy Program. Again, application can be made through our website, through contacting the company by phone or writing in to our mail address. Um, 
at present the four maintenance and uh, apprenticeships will be based in the retail or primary site at Dungan. Ever wondered what student life is like at Southwest College? Well, here's a sneak peek video of our world-class campuses, which showcase the latest industry standard technology and learning spaces. Have a wee look. Now time to find out a bit about the Southwest College experience. Let's hear directly from a few of our apprentices, including a former HLA and now a level six BNG, uh, Darren Hart uh, from Tyrex, Sharon Rafferty, uh, an HLA in computing, Amelia McCormick, an HLA in business management uh, from Tyrex and others, who will tell us about the benefits of studying an apprenticeship. I come from a background of six and a half years of manufacturing experience and I decided that now if I was to continue my personal career pro progression that now was the time for me to get my qualifications to back up my experience and um, the apprenticeship route, route definitely encourages that. It allows me to earn a wage while I'm studying uh, the support from the company is fantastic. The college, the tutors in the college are only an email away, only a phone call away, and the support there is second to none, it's brilliant. I actually got involved in the Skills to Success program for welding, and this is where my placement from TBC has came from. Uh, and through that course, we were given the information about the apprenticeships. Uh, I originally was going to go through the uh, gold program, but after a short conversation with the college staff, they encouraged me to go on for um, the level four as I've already completed level three quali qualifications. Because of COVID, uh, what was originally one day of study has been split between two evenings. So um, I have worked with TBC that I can work a finish a half day on Monday and go to the college on a Monday evening. Uh, the rest of the week I'm working full time and have also a class on the Tuesday evening as well. The opportunity that the apprenticeship route gives to people in that you can earn a living while you're studying, you're getting the qualifications, but you're also getting the opportunity to go into so many different departments within a business and um, you're getting to see how a business operates a uh, more so than just going into employment and working in one particular area a uh, it gives the experience that many people going down maybe a more traditional route of university degrees they wouldn't have the experience coming out of and um, it also which I think is very important. It starts to build a network of people in the engineering sector uh, around you. 
in Dungannon were very much based in engineering and a lot of the companies bounce off each other. Uh, they're all using each other for different parts, for different uh, supplies. And I think having that network right from the start of the engineering career, the more people you can get behind you, the better it is for not only the business, but yourself. I came to the college straight after doing my GCSEs. Um, I always sort of knew I was going to do this because I was very tactical minded and I was always hands on. So the apprenticeship route was always going to be really the path for me. I like the balance as it's it just sort of splits the week up and it keeps you motivated. You're not in coll college all week working away where you've sort of got work to sort of relieve you from that. And uh, it's just nice because it always keeps you sort of working towards something and you're always got something you can in work you have. Uh, you can sort of see it sort of applies to what you're learning in college. So one day I'd be using SolidWorks and the next day I'm in here making a model of some packaging solutions. So it's just nice to the relationship between them is linked very well. So it is being able to learn and earn at the same time, sort of just working my way up and sort of setting me up for the future as with the apprenticeship, I'm sort of getting experience in the workplace and it's just setting me up better for later on down the line. Whenever I first started, the first year is mainly on a roll shift so we'd spend 68 weeks uh, in each different department in the company and then after that we'll rotate to a different uh, area in the company uh, and this is handy as it, it lets you just see sort of gives you an idea of what you want to do and what you're sort of interested in the company um, and then whenever it came to the second year you're allowed to make a decision and the company will then decide if it's okay to put you into that sort of area um, I was intrigued by the design sort of side of it um, up in the MPD um, and I'm lucky enough to be the first apprentice put up in the MPD. It's just a nice booster so it is, it gives you <coughs> confidence um, that you must be doing something right and it'll just give you that sort of boost of encouragement to keep going and see how far you can go. You get your work experience first of all, it's great. Um, I'll come out with four years work experience, it's nice any employer will like to see that. Um, it's also handy that you're it'll always leave a door open. You have multiple different routes to go down with engineering. If it's mechanical, if it's civil, if it's even with like hydraulic systems, you have electrical, you have all those different uh, routes to go down and it's, it'll, you'll never be stuck really. Um, and yeah, just apprenticeships are great. So they, are, they'll, they just give you good experience and they'll leave you ready to work. You're not coming into the workplace sort of shocked and you're not sort of struggling how do I do this, it'll set you up brilliantly for whenever you do you start working. I decided to go down the apprenticeship route after attending one of the college uh, open days. I saw it as an opportunity to obtain hands-on industry experience while it's also continuing with my education which is very important to me. Um, I also saw it as an opportunity to learn while I earn <clears throat> and enjoying the perks of a social life while it's also having the money for my essentials is very important. I also saw it as an exciting new chapter of my life to get hands-on training and a chance to put my skills into practice in the workplace. So when I left school I honestly had no clue what I wanted to do. Um, I've always been interested in engineering, technology and business so I found I was torn between what route to go down. Um, so I researched the college and I attended one of the open days. Um, I found it very interesting and beneficial as I thought I had to be like everybody else I knew and go straight down the university route after school. So it was good for me to see that there were other options out there for me to learn. Um, when I found out that I could earn a salary whilst gaining my university degree, um, I knew automatically that it was something I wanted to do. Um, so my apprenticeship is currently with Turex. So I work in an engineering sector. I had originally applied for the engineering apprenticeship in Turex, but after my interview, I found out that there were other aspects of the business in which I could go to, but still be involved in the engineering process. So that's how I landed myself in the heart of the business, which is the logistics department. So I um, attend work four days a week eight to five and I attend the college one day a week from half nine to half four. Um, I really enjoy attending the college uh, on a Thursday 
um, as it's a new learning environment. I enjoy socialising with other people in my class who are in the same position as me, all doing higher level apprenticeships. Um, it's also good for me to have the support from our tutors and access to reading materials to help with assignments. Um, finding a healthy work, study and social life was challenging at the beginning, but now as I'm into my second year, my foundation degree, I have learned how to balance these out. Um, I think it's worth putting in extra work and effort to obtain qualifications to help better my career progression within my company. So I'd say that that's a big driver. I would highly recommend an apprenticeship to anybody. Um, it gives you a chance to work towards qualification, but it's also gaining skills and knowledge you need to succeed in your chosen industry. Um, getting into employment earlier, I think, leaves that there's a lot of potential for you to progress in your career quickly. I also think that it gives you a fantastic experience in the working world and shows employees that you can really, or employers, that you can really hit the ground running. Um, Hands-on experience gives you a real chance to, your, to put your skills into practice. I also feel that it's given me more confidence, not only as an individual, but as part of a team in my everyday job roles. Um, the engineering industry is ever growing, but I would also encourage people to keep an open mind as there's something for everybody out there. I went to a few open days and stuff in TAC and was told about how important industry experience is. And after sort of taking this all in and finishing school, I sort of started thinking about it more because my school didn't offer A levels. And whenever I was finishing school, I was 16, I didn't really want to start another school at that stage. So I think apprenticeship sort of became a real option because I could see that I was going to make money and be getting an education at the same time. And this isn't, it's a thing that like not, not a lot of students get, like if they stay on a school, because they're at school all the time and they don't really have time to be working to get a good wage as well. Personally, I think if I went back, I wouldn't choose any other way because it's just, it's so good. Like you're getting your education at the same time you're in a money deck. I think for me, leaving school anyway, like just, I didn't want to, I didn't want to be older and still going to school. Like, and I think definitely like whenever you're earning money and still learning as well, and you can go on after tech and get your foundation degree and your higher degree education. I don't think you could really go a better way to be honest. I chose the apprenticeship route because whenever I left school I didn't want to go on to A-levels. Um, I went to Southwest College and done the gold apprenticeship. So that meant that I could get into the higher level apprenticeship which I'm studying at the moment. Um, at that time I just didn't think that A-levels or university was for me and I'm glad that I made that choice. Um, the other, other benefit was that I could learn the machines also while getting like the technical knowledge from the college. And that obviously links up well with, with what they teach you. So, I don't know, I just think that it was probably the best thing for me at the time and from that I can progress now on to the foundation degree with no university fees. So I attend the college, it's one day and one evening a week and your modules are split. You have one module on one of the evenings and the rest of the modules on the other day. Um, and then the rest of the days you attend your workplace. So it is good, it links up well with what you learn in the college as well as what you're learning at work. I recommend an apprenticeship because you get on the hands-on experience obviously as well as that technical knowledge and it does just make it a bit easier whenever you go to apply for jobs even in the future because you do have that experience and you've no university fees and obviously you earn while you learn which is maybe one of the main points and um, I just think that it was maybe the best thing for me you're still around home and you're close to your workplace you're close to the college and the college do support you very well as well as your workplace with any questions or help that you need so it is very helpful it's just i think it's maybe just a good course to get the hands-on experience i chose the apprenticeship route because i like the idea of the earn while you learn kind of aspect of it and um, obviously in university you have a big loan to pay back and obviously that's no worry about about that in the future obviously um, and the way about that the and I like the idea of working, obtaining the hands-on in the industry. Like, so you're you're working four days a week, and you're in tech for one day in the, in the college, and you're on off and 
it's good to get the experience and learn the insights to the company. And even, you know, getting to know new people it's in the foundation degree, it's lost some, some great people in my class who are in the same boat as me in different companies and it's good to hear their stories and what way they're getting on, you know. I left my secondary school after GCSEs. I studied a two-year course at BTEC in construction in the built environment. After I finished that two-year two BTEC, I knew it wasn't for me. The construction uh, sector wasn't wasn't what I was after, so I decided to pursue an engineering. I was inspired in engineering, so I looked at the, the courses in Southwest College for a foundation degree. So I've seen manufacturing engineering, and I'm now in my second year, and it all is going well here I am. Um, I attend the college one full day on a Tuesday and an evening class on a Thursday, um, which is not too bad. I uh, work for four days of, of the week and also get I get paid for five days even for the Tuesday, which, which I can't complain. So it's good to get that, uh, that mix of experience inside the, the college and, um, and get on the hands-on experience and agents, so it is. So. Hello, my name is Ethan and I'm one of Spectrum's higher level apprenticeships. I chose the apprenticeship route as it provides the opportunity to get hands-on learning experience as well as getting a working wage. After taking my A-levels, I didn't know what I wanted to do, so I took a year out. During this time, I went and done some work experience with an electrical engineer. This proved very valuable to me. It was then that I realised that engineering was the career for me. Uh, so then I went and researched the course content and applied. Uh, when it comes to uh, studying and working at the same time. I attend college one day a week, followed by an additional evening per week. Uh, this helps me keep up with the demand of work and studying as well. Um, Spectrum here, they actually give me a day off during the week so I can have plenty of time to learn as well. Uh, this gives me plenty of time to get on top of things. And my tutors and my um, work mentors, they give me any help that I need. Uh, I'd recommend my apprenticeship as when I finish this course I will have gained lots of uh, new skills as well as development skills that I already had. Having experience within engineering is so beneficial as it allows for people to see how objects work. Working with people who have level 6 degrees, you know, who have went to university and you know, had loans and stuff, you know, you have it beside you and still going to work, so getting a bit of both and just learning while you learn. You know, it's win-win, you know. I chose the apprenticeship route as I was very eager to get in, get my foot in the company and uh, get a solid wage under my foot. However, I didn't want to stop my qualifications, so I thought an apprenticeship would be the best course of action for me as I would get the experience I need in an industry and my qualifications on top of that to better myself and get further up the ladder within a good company. In the last year of high school, we got to all sit down with a careers advisor and uh, she had taken your interests and you know hobbies and stuff and she pointed me in the direction of the Gold Award in Engineering. So I sat down with her and then she told me about the open day with Southwest College. I went there, got speaking with the teachers and uh, with Daniel and I saw a great interest in it. I then applied for the apprenticeship uh, with the teachers there and they uh, just waited, got my answer. Uh, well, in my first year apprenticeship, we had two days in college, uh, two full days in college, and then uh, the rest was just a full working week. And then uh, now we have one day, one full day on a Thursday, and then one evening on a Tuesday. The evening class from six to nine, I not suit most people, but you can work around it. And then other than that, you're in work full time. Uh, I would highly recommend uh, an apprenticeship, as it's a good way to get your foot into the door of a good company and build yourself and work your way up the ladder in the company. Uh, it's a great way to get your qualifications and earn a wee bit of money on the side. Working with people who have level six degrees, you know, who have went to university and you know, had loans and stuff, you know, you have it beside you and still going to work, so getting a bit of both and just learning while you learn, you know, it's one win, you know. It's been a pleasure to be here with you this evening, and that concludes our virtual engineering uh, event. I'd like to thank all the companies that participated, and I would like to thank you for joining us, and hopefully you found this useful. 
And remember, for more details on any of our programmes, please visit our website and apply online at swc.ac.uk. Our prospectus is now also available uh, for download on our website. I look forward to welcoming you to Southwest College in the near future, and thank you very much.